Yo, what's up guys? Today I want to teach you how to stream on TikTok and Twitch at the same time without using your stream key, without using the phone. Now, I know a lot of people still try to multi-stream by using their phone, by screen recording their Twitch vid, and then putting it on TikTok, but doing that method, you're not going to be able to really see your chat very well. So today I want to show you guys the way that I stream on both these platforms using a mid-tier GPU. Now for reference, I have a 5800X 3D paired up with a 2070 Super, so it's on the high end of mid-tier GPUs. So if you're also starting off in your streamer journey, you have a mid-tier to low-tier GPU, this tutorial should still work for you as I'm using a mid-tier GPU myself. And you should still be able to run maximum settings on all your games without using too many GPU resources. But if you do start to experience lag, then cut down on the games graphically. Now before I get started into this tutorial, I do recommend getting a secondary monitor as it makes this process a whole lot easier, but theoretically if you only have one monitor, this should still work. All you would have to do is keep OBS open in the background and the thing that you, and the way that you can do that is just open up OBS, leave it maximized, then click the windows button and select whatever game that you want for your stream. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial. So first things first, what you want to do is download the two apps that you need, which is TikTok Live Studio and then your main streaming app that you use. For me, I use OBS Studios. Now, if you don't have OBS Studios or have a different version of OBS, don't worry. All these settings that I'm doing in OBS Studios are pretty much the same in every other streaming app. So just follow along and it should be the same process. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up OBS. As you can see, I already have it open up. It's on my other monitor. So let me just drag it on here and drag it over to the main monitor that I'm recording on. All righty. So as you can see, there's a yellow box around it. We'll get to that in a second. That's further. That's going to happen further on in the video. After you get OBS open, the first thing that you're going to want to do is click this cog right here under audio mixer, and then you're going to want to put your input audio. So like that's your microphone and then wherever the game audio is coming out of as the output, you're going to want to monitor and output both of these. Now you are going to be able to hear yourself, but there is a reason for that. And we'll get to that in a second. So make sure you have these monitor. Usually they're going to be off. So that way you don't hear yourself while you're recording or streaming. But in this case, you're going to want to have them on. So after you have both of those put the monitor and output, then you want to exit and then you want to minimize that. And then you want to go into your settings. Now, I already have audio settings pulled up. So what you want to do is just uh, go to the settings, go to sounds, and then go to advanced sound options. Once you go to the advanced sound options, you're then going to want to choose a secondary audio output for OBS. Now, once you do this, you're not going to be able to hear your voice or the game inside your, your headphones anymore. So that way you'll be able to play the game and be able to stream regularly without having the annoyance of hearing double the audio. Now, I know a lot of people can't really stream that way. I know some people can can put their audio down to the lowest monitor settings and then still be able to play by hearing their own voice. But personally, I can't and I feel like a lot of other people can't. So you wouldn't want to do a secondary audio for this. And again, the secondary audio output can be pretty much anything. If you have a monitor, you can put it to the speakers of your monitor. But if you don't have speakers inside your monitor or you don't have a secondary audio output, but which you should, you should check your drivers. Or if you don't um, hook up a sound system or whatnot, but you should have a secondary audio system inside your PC. After we're done, after we're done with the settings, we're going to minimize it. Then we're going to open up TikTok Live Studio. I have to open up on my other monitor again, so I'm gonna bring it over. Right, and let me just drag and drop it over. All right. Okay, so essentially the first step that we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna go to this audio mixer right here. And now with the audio mixer, you're going to add that secondary audio output that you selected in your settings in this audio out in this audio mixer. And as you can see, as I'm speaking, the volume is going up and don't be alarmed by how little that is going up. Uh, it's still very loud. It's at 100 percent. So don't feel discouraged about that. But if you don't like your volumes, you can always adjust it. But whatever the secondary audio output, as you can see, it's digital output. That's me. That's mine. And then just match it up with this and then add it. And then this is digital output again. So again, and then mute. You're also mute your main audio. So that way you're not your TikTok stream isn't hearing double. All right, so mute the main audio and then put it in and then funnel it to the secondary audio, leave the secondary audio on and add it. All right. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a source. Now, I've already added the OBS source as you can see right here, but if you know, if you just don't know how to do it, I'm going to show you is do window capture, add, select, and then you should see OBS. You're not going to really see OBS from mine since I already have it up here, but you should see OBS, All right? So 
OBS right here. And also be sure to leave OBS open as well. I'm just gonna drag in, drag in and drop it. Ah, fuck it, fuck it, sorry. Drag and drop it over here. And, and if you notice the yellow barrier, that's the reason why the yellow barrier is on because TikTok is just telling us that, oh, TikTok is viewing this screen, right? So at the source, they clicked OBS, right? Click OBS, and then you're gonna see a lot of different, I have it locked right now, but you, uh, it's gonna be unlocked for you once you add the uh, source. You're gonna see a lot of different options. You're gonna see crop, you're gonna see stretch to screen, and then you're gonna see center to screen. Those are the only three options we're gonna use. We're not gonna use rotate, we're not gonna mess with any of these either. So, all right, so we're just gonna mess with these three options right here. So I already, since I already have it done on here, I'm not gonna do it again with OBS. I'm gonna just show you the way to do it through YouTube, because essentially what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna crop, you want, you're gonna wanna crop the OBS window until it's just the preview window, right? So, because you don't wanna obviously show the dashboard of the scene, starting, pausing, like what all my, like source, all your sources, your audio mixes, obviously you don't want nobody to see that. You just wanna see the stream, right? What everybody's gonna see on Twitch and stuff. So you're just going to crop the pre, until it's just the preview window. Right, and I'm gonna do an example with a YouTube video. So again, I'm a uh, like just imagine this is OBS. I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna add Chrome YouTube. As you can see, the YouTube video. Shout out Perlizzi. You know, I got I got the Perlizzi video up here. All right. So what we gotta do is just we're gonna crop it. And this is just an example of what you're gonna do for OBS. Just crop it and just imagine that this YouTube video is the preview window for OBS. If I can, as you can see, the reason why I don't want it redo it is because like it's really tedious and I think my mouse is a little bit messed up too so i don't want to like misclick and then mess everything up that i've already set up so again after you crop it then you're going to want to click the outside of the border and as you can see it's cropped then you're going to want to center it and then you're going to want to stretch it to screen and then once this is all done and you think you this is what you like you cropped it correctly and you don't want to restart it do it lock it so that way you can't move and mess with it all right, again, like I said, just imagine this is OBS. Imagine this is OBS. I'm gonna just delete this. Oh, I actually delete the wrong one. Oh God. Okay. Delete, delete the wrong one. But yeah, essentially that's, that's what you do for uh, OBS. So that's what you do. All right. Next, we're gonna do. I'll uh, we'll show you how to do everything in portion mode. So if you want to stream in portrait mode, again, you would use OBS. You're going to add OBS, but instead of just, but instead of cropping the preview window, you're just going to crop your webcam. Now I don't have my webcam on right now, so to show you an example, but just imagine that this is all cropped out. So I'm just like, I'm going to just crop a random area, right? Just imagine like I'm cropping out the webcam. Now this is a little bit more tedious because like, you know, you got to, you're not gonna probably get your first try, but just like, just imagine that, oh, I cropped out the webcam, right? Just, just imagine I cropped out the webcam. All right, you're gonna center it, stretch the screen. All right, and then you put your webcam up here, right? You put the webcam up here and then add another source, like, and then you're gonna add the game as another source and then you go put it at the bottom. All right, you go put it down here for like the game. I have a game open right now, but I have YouTube open, so I'm gonna just, Pretend that YouTube is the game right now, right? Imagine this is the game, and then you're just gonna wanna stretch it to whatever your liking is. Gonna wanna... Let me, as you see, it's kinda, like I said, it's kinda tedious. Just gonna stretch it and then center it. Excellent, put it full screen. Don't click, don't click stretch to full screen, but you know. Just stretch it to wherever you're liking it is, center it, and then pull it down however you want to center it. You know, you can pull it down, and then you can put like your Twitch or YouTube right here. You know, put whatever text that people do, what they usually do. <clears throat> so that's essentially what you would do for portrait mode, but just like I said, just imagine this is a cropped out version of your webcam, and this is a cropped game or a stretched out game, and then you put it to wherever you're liking, however you see fit. Right, and that's how you would essentially stream in portrait mode. Now there's a different like you can you can do it in a lot of different ways. This is just how a lot of the popular people do it. 
what you normally see on TikTok lives with people playing games. They got their webcam up here, they got the webcam up here, and then they got their game right here, stretched out, all right? And that's essentially the entire tutorial, right? And like I said, uh, there's, there's, a, there's a way better way to do it, but it's gonna take a lot more resources in your GPU because it involves using a virtual camera. And usually when you're streaming, at least, at least for me, I'm streaming, recording, at the same time, and using the virtual camera is just going to stress out OBS a lot more, and you're going to be using a lot more resources for your GPU, and it's probably going to make you lag a little bit. So this is kind of like an easier way to put less stress on the GPU and screen recording OBS and then screen recording the game it makes it a lot easier if you want to do it in portrait mode. And then landscape mode is a lot, hell of a lot more easier because all you got to do is just crop um, the preview. So again, hopefully this helps a lot of people who want to start streaming on both platforms and yeah hopefully hopefully this helps please be sure to like and subscribe and join my discord if you like uh i'm a dragon ball content creator i'm an anime content creator i do pretty much every game i play horror games and stuff like that so hopefully i'll catch you guys next time